Hi folks, and welcome to the Frugal Radio channel, where we enjoy discovering the magic of radio in a wallet-friendly way. If you are a subscriber, it's good to have you back on the channel again. Thanks for being here. If you're a first-time visitor, then a special welcome goes out to you. If you would like to see more content like this, then please consider subscribing to the channel. Remember to hit the like button as well to let me know if this video has been beneficial to you. Today we're talking about how to search the military airband in under two and a half seconds using a software defined radio. Transmissions on the military airband tend to be quite short, so you have to be very strategic about searching the spectrum for new frequencies, especially when using traditional scanners. There is a lot of traffic in the band, if you can find it. While you can track down some known frequencies, being able to search for new ones at a high speed is incredibly valuable. To accomplish a search of the full airband, you need a plugin for SDR Sharp called Frequency Scanner. It allows you to search from 225 to 380 megahertz in under two and a half seconds with a software defined radio like the AirSpy R2. In order to compare this to my reference scanner, a BCT15X, I performed a short test. Let's have a quick look. All right, so here is a BCT15X unit and scanner. And what I'm testing today is to see how long it takes to search the entire airband spectrum from 225 to 380. So it's just the UHF military airband that I'm timing. And uh, there's a little phone on the right that is going to time how long it takes. Right now the scanner is set to go. I just need to roll up the squelch and it will begin. And we'll start the timing. So that should start right away. After it goes. And the timer has commenced. So we can see here that the scanner took 1 minute 10.96 seconds to complete the scan of the UHF military airband. In the past, some people have struggled to install the plugin, so I'm pleased to point out that you can download the community package of STR Sharp and the plugin will already be installed. Once you have it downloaded, just follow along with the next part of the video to get it up and running. If you are using one of the budget SDRs, like the Nualec NESDR Smart version 4 or the RTL SDR V3, setup is performed in the exact same way, but I have created a couple of videos to show the search time in each of those units as well. You can click the links in the description or the thumbnails on this screen. Okay, let's jump in. Once you have the community package of SDR Sharp downloaded, you go ahead and open it up. And once it's open, I'm going to recommend doing a number of things first. And that would begin with turning the accessibility control off. So if you look down the list of plugins on the left hand side, find the one that says accessibility control. So it's here on mine. And enable keyboard shortcuts is currently turned on. I'm going to disable that right away. And then we can just close that down again. And the rest of it can actually stay on. The next thing I want to do is disable the extended IF spectrum because we're going to use that part of our display for something else. So for me, I'm using the Zoom FFT plugin. So I'm going to just take the check mark out of the box. Um, you may have a plugin called Extended or, or IF Spectrum or Extended FFT. Um, if you have the IF Spectrum plugin, then just disable Extended um, FFT. So the next thing we want to do is locate the frequency scanner plugin. So if we scroll down the list again, frequency scanner is here and you'll be able to see this little box. Now this is hard to read with this theme. It actually just says edit scan ranges and then there's a configure and a scan box right below that. So we'll start off by editing the scan ranges. It's just popped up on my second screen so I'm dragging it over here. If you only have one screen that won't happen to you. So give it a name. Let's call it military air. And then the start. Now when you're entering frequencies in on here you have to enter it with all the extra zeros as it appears in, FD, in SDR Sharp. Like this. Look how many zeros there are here. So if I want to start at 225 megahertz then I'm going to type in 225 I'm going to put in a comma 000, comma 000, and that will actually begin at 225 megahertz. I'm going to end it at 380 megahertz, so 380, comma 000, comma 000. We're going to want to use the AM detector, 
and we'll run with a bandwidth of say 12,000 that should be fine. The step size for military airband is 25 kilohertz so that's going to be 25 comma 0, 0, 0. and that is now the mill air scan range all set up so we can just click on OK. Now if you were going to do more scan ranges you could put in as many there as you want. If you wanted to create civil air, LMR or PMR searches and so on you can easily do that. Okay so I have an AirSpy R2 plugged in and we're going to run the uh, scanner um, which basically is search, I don't like the name scanner but on Miller, and uh, we're going to hit scan and we'll see exactly what we see so here it's found a carrier we want to just delete that that's just like a birdie basically and uh, there's a few more of those so I'm just going to get rid of those um, one right at 380 there okay so now it's actually going to ignore those uh, birdies as we call them in uh, scanner speak and we can see what it's doing down here so because we turned the debug information on it's basically divided the entire airband into 20 chunks of 8 megahertz in size and remember the SDRs can view all um, of their spectrum in one go so 20 chunks of 8 means that it's looking at 8 megahertz of spectrum in an instant and then moving on to the others so what that means is we can actually see a time figure here 2.261 seconds so it's taking 2.26 seconds to scan the entire UHF airband from 220 up to 380 and it's found another carrier there so we'll just quickly get rid of that. Um, that's going to impact the speed for a second but you can see it's already gone back down and it's now at 2.2 and you can see at the top it flicking through the different chunks of spectrum there and you have a visual representation of it along the bottom this is why we closed the FFT display I have no antenna plugged in right now so it shouldn't be finding anything just wanting you to see how quickly with an STR you can scan the entire UHF airband and like I said before you can actually program up different scan ranges in fact if we stop the scan now go back into this area and edit the scan ranges it has popped up again on my other screen but over here you know let's say we can do uh, LMR so LMR VHF we're gonna want on the LMR VHF let's say we want to start at 163 um, megahertz. We want to end at 174 megahertz. It's going to be narrow FM bandwidth of 12. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Or 12500, um, and a step size of 12500 would be good as well. And uh, and we can hit OK. Now we'll see it actually appears over here. So we can hit LMR VHF scan. We may encounter a birdie, no it doesn't like, look like we have, smaller piece of spectrum. So this should work with any SDR that is capable of working with SDR Sharp. And the wider the bandwidth of the software defined radio, the quicker you're going to be able to make that scan. So for example, uh, you know, one of the uh, budget SDRs will take 10 seconds or so to perform the scan. And if you want to see that happening, uh, click on the link there and head over to uh, watch one of the videos either of the Nualec, um, any SDR Smarty uh, dongle, the V4 dongle doing the scan, or the RTL SDR.com version 3 dongle doing the scan, and you can see exactly how long it was taking for each of them to do it as well. Um, thanks for stopping by the channel. This is Frugal Radio for now, saying over and out.